What's up you guys? So today I've been sanding away. It's Friday. Got out of work. Came straight to the house. And this is the hood. I started sanding it. I'm doing it with uh, 180. After I'm done with the 180, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some 320. Um, you can see the bare metal. All those spots where you can see the bare metal. I'm going to put some primer on there. I'm going to use this stuff. So vetching primer. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, some filler primer to fill up any uh, cracks or anything, any little spots, any imperfections basically. And then for the door gems, I already got them all scuffed up. All I got to do is cover everything with plastic, seal it off, seal the outside of the car, and I'm ready. For the other side, I got a little bit of body work that I started doing down here. And it's too dark. But I got a little bit of body work that I did right there. And it's almost ready for it to get sprayed. Alright, so I laid some primer, some edging primer and all the spots that were exposed, that had metal exposed. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to dry up and then I'm going to sand it all down one more time just scuff it lightly and then I'm going to hit it with some high build primer so check out how far I got on the car today I completely ran out of tape so I was able to tape this door off so you can see the body work right there looks really good I still gotta tape this whole little window section right here I went ahead and I threw this uh, plastic tarp over the car because I don't want to get overspray on the window and it doesn't matter if, if overspray gets on here because this is all going to be sanded on the outside and like how I went up here just to protect my sunroof I threw this on here like I said doesn't matter if it gets on here either because that's all going to be sanded the main thing is to get this finished so you guys can see this whole side is completely ready to go the door and then look at my hood it just needs to be Sand it one more time with some 320, make it nice and smooth. And tomorrow morning, before I do anything else, I'm gonna have to go straight to the store, get some tape, um, get another mask, and I think that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna call it a day. I've been in here just to do this little process. It has taken over four hours that's a long time and it's because I'm sanding I'm jumping here and jumping there back and forth all over alright so it's Saturday today and I went ahead and I got all the parts that one's hanging right there these are the side skirts they're hanging up I got my hood right here I just cleaned everything off with mineral spirits the whole thing everything's taped up ready to go my, my part right there that I did the body work to this side's ready to go everything was just cleaned off with mineral spirit so it's really clean I'm gonna run a tack cloth over it which will be where is it one of these I'm just gonna clean, remove any dirt, wax, grease, anything like that. And then this is the gun I'm gonna be using right here. It's a 1.4. It's right here. 1.4 tip. And I also got this filter for the gun. That way I don't get any water. 
and then I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make the paint. All right, so I got my gun assembled. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and set it right here for now. And then for all you new subscribers, this is a budget build. So basically something you guys can make at home, you know, since it looks kind of decent. So this is what I'm going to be using. Gloss Sunrise Red by rust -Oleum. Basically, I'm going to pour it. I have these containers and I have this filter. I'm going to put the filter there. I'm going to dump one of these, which is 8 fluid ounces. This is a little tiny can. And then I'm going to pour a second one. So as you guys can see, this is how far it is so far. I still have plenty in there. Let me show you guys what it looks like. If I lift it up. Just let it pour in there and filter out in case there's any chunks or anything. Um, what I'm going to do now is take this Mineral Spirit Odorless. This is from Walmart. It's like three or four bucks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this can up halfway. So I filled it up halfway around here somewhere, around here. And now I'm gonna dump it in with the paint. And basically this is gonna dilute my paint enough where I can shoot it through the gun. So that means that I'm doing a quarter of mineral spirits for every eight ounces and a quarter and a quarter of course is a half so that's why we dumped a half now it's really flowing through as soon as it goes all the way through I'm gonna go ahead and mix it stir it up throw it in my gun alright so it's in the gun now I emptied out the whole container and it filled up this whole thing I'm going to put the cap on. Let me set the camera down. And what we are going to do now is we're going to adjust the pattern of the spray gun. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and practice on the old hood. What I'm going to do is try to spray a football shape. Once I get that shape, I'm ready to spray. Yeah. 
All right. So sorry about the noise. The compressor is on. But basically, what I'm gonna do, my first coat is just gonna be a mist, just to make everything tacky. And I'm gonna wait around 15 minutes for the second coat. So the first coat of paint is down, and this is just to make it tacky. This is just the first coat, like I said, so it's see-through. That's what I was practicing. My hood, I got a drop of water on my hood right here. But besides that, everything looks pretty good. I'm going to have to try to buff that out later. Here's the final coat. It's got a little bit of orange peel, but nothing that wet sanding can't fix. Here's the hood. Looks pretty glossy. Here's the fender. And I ran out of paint, so I'm going to have to wait on this one and that one. Here's my front bumper with the lip attached to it. I think I dropped my camera and I don't know if you guys can see those little two little spots. I think that's those are scratches. Let me try to wipe them off. Yeah, those two little spots are scratches on my lens. I'm gonna have to get a new camera. This one still needs another coat. A really heavy coat. This is the hardest part I think that that I've done. Just doing the door gems took a lot of time. So I'm very satisfied with this paint job of the part that I painted so this is going to be the end of the video I'm pretty tired right now I still got to run to the store get some more paint and go ahead and touch up a few spots on the fender try to paint the whole thing and the side skirts but besides that everything looks really good I'll catch you guys on my next video Thank you.